Hey YouTube, it's been a minute. I know it's been a long minute. I apologize. I do still upload Wordle TikToks every day. Uh, you could check those out, I'm just saying. But I've been looking for a challenge recently and you might say, Kathy, you spent 15 minutes on the New York Times Connections today and also had to Google what three of the words meant before you could even finish it. And to that I say, yeah, I did do that. But maybe word games just aren't my forte anymore and I need to switch to numbers games. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of other people solving Sudoku puzzles and I just really want to try them again. I haven't done Sudoku puzzles in years, I would say. And I always just did the normal 9x9 grid with no regions, some lines. I learned what those are recently. Um, so I'm excited to try this though. This is only a 6x6. So let's see what this is like let's learn it together i'm gonna try my vocabulary with sudoku isn't great yet so i'm gonna try to explain what i'm doing i'm also used to making short form video where i cut out all of my rambling like this um but i'm not doing that i'm not making any cuts so <laughs> enjoy i hope this is a good video let's go ahead and start our timer now instructions normal six by six sudoku rules apply so if you've never done sudoku before that means that this column has the numbers one through six exactly one time sorry that row we're off to a great start this column has the numbers one through six exactly one time each and also this box has the numbers one through six exactly one time each and they can't overlap um typically sudoku puzzles give you a few numbers to start but this one does not region sum lines blue lines in the grid are region sum lines the sum of the digits on the line is the same within each box now the first time i heard this I thought that meant this would equal the sum of this. That's not what that means. I interpreted that wrong. <laughs> it means that along this line, these two have the same sum as these two have the same sum as these two. So that is incredibly helpful. Referenced lines. A line with length n must include the digit n. For example, a line with a length of three must contain the digit three. So this having a length of six will have the number six in it somewhere. This having a length of four will have the number four in it somewhere. So let's get started. I've never used this website before, but I clicked around a little bit. I can hold down control to take some notes and I can hold down shift to take some different kinds of notes. I can also change colors of what I'm doing. <laughs> so I like to use blue. Maybe let's just change the numbers to um, green to try to not confuse them with the blue lines. So where can we start? We know that this must have a three in it. This must have a four in it. And we also know that this singular cell must add up to also those two, which means this cannot be a one. This cannot be a two because you would need to have one, one here, and that's not an option. Um, it could be a three because you could have a one and a two here. Could be a four, you could have a three and a one, etc. This is interesting. These cells are the same. And we also need to have a two here. So we know that those are twos. Let's make those twos. Very cool, very cool. So that also gives us some information here. This could not be a three because the only way to get three would be to have one and two here and two is not an option this could be a four we would have a one and a three here this could be a five it cannot be a five because we need to have a three along this line so if this was a five we would need a three here meaning the other number would have to be a two which is not an option because of this so this cannot be five um this could be six um no, it can't. Can't be six because the options to add up to six would be one five, which means there's no three here, which doesn't work. Um, could be two three, which doesn't work because we need a two here. And it could be, um, sorry, it could be three three, which doesn't work because you can't put threes above each other. It could be two four, which doesn't work because you need, you can't have a two here. Um, one five is not an option. So this has got to be a four. That was rambling. And then we're gonna have a one three here and I can hold down control and take little notes. Look how cute that is. I hope I explained that well. 
Let's see what else we know. This singular cell adds up to these two and also these two. We need to have a one, two, three, four, five in here as well. Narrating my thought process is interesting. Let's see. This cannot be a one, cannot be a two. Could it be a three? It could be a three. Nope. Okay. This is interesting. The sum of these two boxes cannot include the two numbers that are here. So we need two different ways to add up to this. So three is not going to work because the only option is one, two. Um, could we have four? No, because we need a five somewhere and five is greater than four. Could this be a five? This could be one, four. And this could be two, three. And that would work. Could this be a six? If we have one, five and two, four. Yes, that works. So this could either be a five or a six right now. These could be any combination of one, two, three, four, five. Except for this can't have four. So I'm not going to put notes for that. Five, six. I'm double checking if six works there. It didn't seem right. So we could have one, five. And then two, four. I think that works. Here, we need to have a four along along this line somewhere, and it can't go in those two boxes. So we know that a four goes here. Um, we're also not going to have a one, three, or a two. So this is going to be four, five, or six. These two adding up to these two. If this is four, five, we could have six, three here to get nine. If this is four, six, the only other way to get 10 is five, five, which won't work here. So this needs to be four, five and not a six. So to get nine, we could have three, six, no way with a one, no way with a two. I think we're good there. So we also know that a six goes here because we don't have a six in this column yet. Moving right along. Let's see, what else do we know? What else do we know? This is really interesting. Three different ways. Oh, they don't have to be different, actually. They don't have to be different. different. Whatever numbers go here could also go here or here. Did this narrow down anything over here? Um, if we said five, and then this is two, three, and one, four, that still works with this. If this is a six, and we have one, five, and two, four, that still works with everything else. This one. Mm -hmm. It needs to have a six somewhere also. So six can't go here. Six could go here or here. If we're adding up numbers to get sums and we have, for example, let's use this one to take little what if. If we do one six, one six here. Um, to get seven. We could also have two, five. Oh, we can't do two, five or three, four because we're going to have four, five already here. Um, those are the only options. So not being able to use a four or a five, you're not going to be able to get seven. So I think very, very quickly looking at this, I think one, six needs to go here. I think the six needs to go here specifically. You could have six, one, six, two. I'm thinking. If you do six, one here. And then here, we haven't, we would have a one and a three. So let's skip up here. Can't use a two or a six here. Um, 
So to get seven, we could do three, four here. And then two, five here. That works. If we did two, six, are there other ways to get eight? I don't think this is necessarily true because some of these numbers can overlap. You can use digits more than once along a line, and I'm solving this as if you can only do digits one at a time across the line, or use them once across the line. But you can repeat numbers across a line. So, do I need to revisit anything else? Like, theoretically, this could be 4545 five, five, if we didn't have a 4 here. We might have made some mistakes along the way. Let's just go along and see what happens. If we have 2, 6, and 3, 4 here, that means this is going to be 1, 5. And then if there's a 5 here, that means the 5 would have to go here along this line, and this would have to be a 2. Whoops. We would also find out that we are very smart and we know a lot of things and we can do this. And you're very smart because you're watching this video. One, th one, two, three. We would need a four, six here. Four can't go here, so four goes here. Six would go here. Um, That would mean that four doesn't work here, which is very unfortunate for our case. And it means we did make a mistake along the way. Because then also 6 cannot go here. So let's erase what I was saying about this line. And go somewhere else. Did I do everything else correctly that I wanted to do? Let's fill in some possible ones here. If this is a 5. then we could have one, four, two, three. These being two, three, whoops. And these being one, four. If this is a six, then here we could have two, four, and one, five. Meaning these would be one, five. And these would be two, four. And we already have a four here. So we know that a four cannot go here. So this must be a four. And this must be a five. Very cool. Very cool. We're, we're getting somewhere. So one, two, four, three, six. Can't narrow anything down. This is two boxes with three possibilities. Two boxes with two possibilities. So we know that these won't be a three, six. In this column, we still need a one and a five. Let's, I want to write like this. That's a pair. One, five. Um, it also means that the five goes here then the five will be here if the five goes here then the five goes there and that'll narrow that down that'll narrow that down words what else can we do i said i wasn't gonna make cuts this is definitely quite a puzzle to try after not having done sudokus in a long time I'm missing something. I want to go back to this line again. We need a six somewhere. And it can't go there. It has to go here somewhere. So, possible combinations. If you do six and one, that's what we were looking at. And I, I think we're going to have to have a number repeat along this line. Um... I believe when I looked at it before, we put 6-1 here. Let's try 6-1 here.
That makes seven. So we could also have three, four, which won't work here, but we can have a three, four here. We could also have two, five, which could work here, but not here. We cannot have one, six here. Oh, wait, yeah, because of this. Okay, so we can't do one, six here because of the six. We can't do one, six here because of this one. So one, six has to go here. Um, what if we were to do six, two instead of six, one? If we do six, two, um, that could go in I either of these boxes. Getting to eight, we could also do a five, three, which could not go here or here, but could go here. Um, we could also do a four, four. That's not going to work. Um, so we could do six, two, but it would have to be two, six, two, six. Um, so if this is two, this is six, then this would have to be three. This would have to be six. And this would have to be one, four. Making this two, three. Making this a five which would mean five cannot go here. So that would not work. That makes sense. Does that make sense? If we were to do six, three. That could work. We could have like three, we could have three, six, three, six. That would work. Um, in order to get to nine, we could have five, four. Oh, I didn't hold down the button. Four, five. The four can't go here, so five would have to go here. And these can't be the same because that includes a number from here. I didn't explain that well. You can't have the same two, digit two digits in these two as you do up here because... This would be the same column and that doesn't work. I think it's got to be a 1-6 somewhere. So let's do 1-6. Can't go here, can't go here. So let's do 1-6 here. Um, we could do also 2-4, which won't work here, but would work here. I'm putting a 4 there temporarily just to keep track of numbers, even though I know it can't go there. Um, then we could have... Oh, I'm sorry. Not 2-4. Two five. Um, two five cannot go here. Um, then we would also have three four, which can't go here, but could go here. I think that's got to be how you do it. I don't see another way to make sure you have a six on this line and then also get them all to add up together. I think that's got to be it. Um. Oh boy. So then, if we say the six goes here, let's say six goes here, one goes here, six would go here, three would go here. All right, let me look for a while, see what else we can do. I'm I'm not feeling confident about about this six line, but oh, here's something. In this box, we still need a six somewhere. It can't go here and it can't go here because we already have a six here. So six is gonna have to go here. So that means this has to be a five. Uh, Kathy, we're on to something. Um, so in order to get a five, we're not gonna have a five here. Um, it's going to be two threes because we're not gonna have a one here either. So that's gonna be two three. Uh, can't have a two or a three here. So this is going to be one four. We now can't have a five here, so this is a one, and this is a five. Very nice, very nice. So we know that this is a two, hoping that our that we did this correctly earlier, and that this is a five, which means this is, I need to turn this off for a second, so I can click one box at a time. This is a three, and this is a two. Yeah, I'm used to clicking the boxes again now. So this is a one, and this is a three. 
Um, here we still need one six, but one can't go here. So let's put the one here and let's put the six here, meaning that this has to be a four and this has to be a one. And then this has to be a six and this has to be a one. As long as this keeps working, then we're going to be great. Um, we still need one, two, five here. Two can't go here. So let's put two here. Let's put five here. One, two, three. We need a four and a six here. Six can't go there. So let's put six here. Let's put four here and then let's put the three here. Which is very unfortunate for this. What does that confetti mean? What's that confetti mean? Um, which is very unfortunate for us because it means this does not work. Very cool. Um, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Let's check our lines. This has to be a two. Five, three, two, one, four. We did narrow some other stuff down based on this line, so I can't just delete this line. We could just delete the line. Oh no. Is there a check option? Should I do it? Recovering when you've made a mistake in Sudoku is hard. Need to have a six somewhere. I'm going to check. Darn, that's not the solution. Oh, well, I didn't think I was completely done. I just wanted to check so far, but that's fine. <laughs> we, we don't need to do that. Um, okay, if we have to have a six along here somewhere, assuming everything else I've done is, is right so far. Um, can't have a six here, can't have a six here, can't have a six here, can't have a six here. Six would have to go here or here. <sighs> six, three, six, three, four, five. Something like that would be an option. So I think we need to undo. How far can I undo? Okay, this is where I was talking about the what if six. Okay, I think we just lost about five minutes, but that's cool. Um, I knew it was going to be this line. So we also could have something six, three, six, three, four, five. Could be a thing. Not necessarily the way I had it before. Um, we do know six cannot go here. But what I had over here, ignoring this line without anything on this line, what I said about we still need a six here, which means that six cannot go here. That still makes sense. That still works. So we can narrow some stuff down. Um, sorry, this needs to be a five, which means this would be a one. And this would be a five, meaning that these would have to be two, three. And these would have to be one, four. That still still makes sense. So this would have to be one six. Uh, meaning that a one cannot go here and this would have to be four and this would have to be one. Um, three six here means we still need a two and a five. Here. Two can't go here so two will have to go here and five will have to go here. We're still okay. We're still okay. One, two, three. These need to be a four and a six. Oh, a six can't go here. So let's make that a four and let's make this a six. One, two, three. That works. I don't know what confetti means. It likes when I type in the top left corner. I don't know. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very cool. Very cool. What else do we know? Let's do some what ifs again. If we do one six here, it would have to go six one. 
um, if we also, we cannot do one six here, so we could do two five. Three four would not be an option. Um, this could also not be two five or three four. One six cannot be six. Could this be two five? Nope, it could be three four. It cannot be three four because both three and four connect with the top. Um, so it's not going to be a one and a six together. Could it be a two and a six? Um, other ways to get eight would be four, four, which we can't do. Um, three, five. Three, five won't work here. Um, we could do six, two again. And then this could be three, five. Does that work? If we make, that would be a six. This would be a two. This would then have to be a six and this would have to be a two. So this we know would have to be a three and this would have to be a five meaning this would be a one, which is fine. Um, this would be a four, which is fine. Um, one, two, three, we need a four and a five here. So this would be a five, this would be a four. Um, here we need a one. One, two, this would be a three. So this would be a six and this would be a three. Narrowing this down, this would be a three, this would be a two, this would be a one, this would be a six. I think, I think we got it. I think this works. I'm going to try typing these in. And if not, we'll just undo it again. We did it. Oh my gosh. Time is 3320. I think that's like the three minutes I took setting this up. Solve counter 291 in 60.9 days. Wow. Wow. We did it. I am curious if there's like leaderboards to see how other people did stuff like that. Um, This was quite a challenge for my first Sudoku in a long time, but I'm pretty proud with how we got here. Um. Again, constructive criticism, very welcome in the comments. Um, this is my first Sudoku video I've done, and also the first YouTube video I've done in a long time. So um, if you have other recommendations on puzzles, I already know which one I want to do next, but please let me know about more, how I can find these. I've just seen like other YouTubers doing Sudoku puzzles and then like grabbing the puzzle before they <laughs> complete it. This is a good challenge. I liked this. I think I'm definitely down to do more of these, though. Um, nice.